Others remember the first time their child attacked daddy or the equivalent. The proud father, full of joy, made the babe repeat it many more times until the child says it clearly. The exercise is pressed on until the infant get a sense of how much it means to the dad. The ability to communicate is very important. The child takes a delight in the attention drawn by calling dad. Similarly, the sweet call of the child transforms the dad. The responsibility of uh, opening the world of affection and information to the child becomes apparent to him. The ability to hear and to speak forms our lives. Being unable to hear what is said to us is very isolating. The sensual liberation a deaf and a mute person feels when healed of his embodiment is amazing. Mark's Gospel chapter 7 verses 31 to 37 has a story of Jesus healing a deaf and mute person in a Gentile territory. It is part of the reading for the weekend's liturgy. In the current situation, this story has some insights to enlighten us. People of pagan territory are not expected to hear and respond to God's word. But the man is in a crisis. He cannot communicate even with his own people in his own territory. He is deaf and mute. His crisis did something good for him. Because of it, he is brought to Jesus, who can make the deaf hear and mute speak. Crises, after all, are not bad things. Limitations and crises are doorways to new and life-giving opportunities. Father's Day celebrations in Sydney this year are in crisis. Restaurants, entertainment venues, parks, churches, and all that you would normally count on to mark the day special are locked down. It is a, it is a crisis time. Because of that, uh, this time can be a time of uh, some good developments for you. A crisis squeezes us more tightly than uh, usual, and what is in us uh, will come out more pronounced. Tumble to spend uh, more time at home, communication with the spouses, children and parents become more intimate and sometimes more intense. You are gifted with the greater opportunities to hear your dear ones and to speak to them from your heart. In hard times, we must fix what is broken or perish. It's a time to be more thoughtful of others. Seek out the lonely and the family will feel truly bonded and inclusive. In the process, you too will benefit. You may recall times when uh, your ears were open to the news that uh, you were loved by God, by others. Before the lockdown, you might not have had uh, enough time and opportunity for uh, what is uh, deepest in you, like your faith, your values, your love. Now that you have more time in hand, don't waste a crisis. Jesus is with you, though it may look like you are shut out of the territory of God, the church. 
Make your presence, your touch, and your word uh, that of uh, Jesus. See the miracle of a deaf and mute hearing and speaking, that miracle unfolding in your life and rejoice over it. When the church opens, you and your family will enter it with the ears open to God and tongues loosed to praise God from your heart. I wish you and your family all the blessings on this Father's Day.